got a Molly tool here. This is quite an old one. I believe the name of this is the Gerber Mr. Pinchy. Now I'm not so sure if Mr. Pinchy is the official name for this multi tool. Uh, some people tell me that is the name of it, and when googling Mr. Pinchy or Gerber Mr. Pinchy even, this is the multi tool that shows up. So I could reasonably assume that is the proper name for this multi tool. Now it does also seem to go by Gerber MP600, I believe. Now, I've got an up-to-date Gerber MP600 right here. So we're going to sort of be going back and forth between those two and some other multi-tools uh, from Leatherman. That aside, now you might notice that this multi-tool doesn't actually have any blade locks. As you might notice also that this one uh, has this, the, uh, the screws opposed to the modern ones which actually I don't even know what you would call those rivets perhaps I think this multi tool is about 20 years old maybe older I don't actually know this has actually grown to be one of my favorite multi tools honestly I'm absolutely loving the pliers on this multi tool you don't really see pliers like this I mean these just look I don't, I don't know why but these just sort of they talk to me like the shape, they just they just look so much stronger. Whether they are or not is a different story. And just the thing feels strong in the hand. Like this feels like it was built to last. And if this is as old as I think it is, well, I suppose that will just go to show that it is built to last. I mean, I don't really use my my motor tools hard at all. But if it survived 20 years, the chances are there's not that much I'm going to be able to do to it. Now, I do know that these do break. I mean, I've seen loads and loads of quite sad, upsetting pictures of these pliers that have been broken. And I hope that never happens to this one because this is an older one. I think I paid about, oh, 40 quid for this. I got a deal with it between this and a Leatherman PST. I think I paid about 8 to five for the two of them maybe but maybe a bit less i honestly don't remember it was about a year ago now i have made the video on of this and the and psc together just showing the you know the two of them being old motor tools but i haven't actually done a specific video on this so that's what we're doing here now this is one of the sliding pliers uh, from gerber now i really do quite like this design i think this is quite interesting the way you can slide those pliers in and out and the one hand opening you know that flick it honestly I quite, I quite enjoy that it makes it quite a fun quite a fun multi tool now multi tools now do seem to be going in the direction of complete one handed opening i mean i know we've also got the oht from leatherman i like that multi tool but i like gerber's way of doing it a lot more honestly now i've also seen the new leatherman free uh, motor tool that's kind of catching the eye kind of not I mean I don't know what to think of the tool set I mean the file and the all is kind of throwing it off for me I mean why would you why would you have the screwdriver and the all as one tool that to me seems like a bad idea and as a lot of people pointed out the file being so short don't like that either the magnets not too fussed about but anyway we're looking at this Gerber now you could technically call that technically call that a slip joint, and we're going to get to that shortly. We do have a imperial ruler on one side and a metric on the other side with a good old engraved Gerber logo with USA. We've got some patent numbers here. And on the other side, no other markings other than that. Now, if we open up a tool, first thing we have here is a straight edge knife with Gerber USA on the tank stamp. Now, straight away, I will say there's a lot of play in that, and that joint isn't really that strong. I mean, this closes 
very easy. I mean, this out of all the knives I own, this is one of the the loosest. It's not that much of a deal being on a multi tool like this. I mean, it's a much older design, and even if it closes well in use, I mean, your hand shouldn't be in the way anyway. Uh, being a, a, a being a multi tool with the the blade configured the way it is. Next, we've got a lanyard loop. I'm going to put that knife away before I cut myself, I think. Uh, we've got a, a sort of medium sized flathead driver, and we've got a can opener with a smaller uh, flat driver, which I think would also double as a Phillips driver, like it does on the Victorinox. We've got a sheep's foot serrated blade, which also has Gerber USA. Uh, on the tang. Next to along, we've got a bottle opener with a flathead screwdriver. I have used that bottle opener a few times, it works alright. Uh, next, we've got a 3D Phillips driver. I honestly much prefer them when it's a proper uh, Phillips driver over the, the flat Phillips drivers, like you see on likes of the, the Gerber Vice and Gerber Splice. Uh, I don't like those screwdrivers at all, and we've got a half decent file. So I would say that this is a decent tool set. I mean, it doesn't have all the tools that I like. For me, it's missing an awl, a saw, and a pair of scissors. But you could only fit so much into a multi tool, and this is a much older, uh, a much older tool. And like I said, it is one of my favourites. I mean, I usually keep a Swiss army knife on my keys at all times and for me a pair of scissors is a really important tool thankfully the Victorinox classic has a pair of scissors and I could live without a saw and an awl because I'm not really in the woods that often anyway I'm not really using those tools that much it's just it's just a tool that I like to have uh, the, the tool set on this is okay and it does pair up nicely with a Swiss army knife in fact I like to pair this up a lot of the time with a Venger uh, Evo Grip 17. The tools on that and on this, they complement each other quite well I think and they both make a good UK legal carry package with all the tools that I want really um, and none that I don't. Although some tools sort of make each other a bit redundant. I mean I don't need two can openers, I don't need two bottle openers. You can never have too many screwdrivers I would say though. I mean you know what I mean. Uh, I mean, this is a great little motor tool, though. So again, we're just going to compare it to a newer Gerber motor tool. Now, the, the plier heads are completely different. I mean, you, you did get these in a couple other different plier head configurations, so we're going to ignore that for the now. But I do really like the pliers on this. Now, I'm going to go as far as to say this is my second favourite plier head on any multi tool. The only multi tool plier head I like more than this is on the Leatherman Rebar. I mean, those are just a really good looking set of pliers, pretty strong, and they've got the replaceable cutters. Now, the cutters isn't something I use like ever, it's not something I need to use, so I'm not too fussed about that. We can see here on the newer Gerber, we do have the, new, the the replaceable cutters. And like I said before, this Gerber does have a tool lock. By the way, this is the bladeless version. Yeah, there's no knife on this. So this is legal to carry anyway. But the fact that there's no knife on it does throw me off carrying it. I like to have a knife on my multi tool. Uh, let's just compare this to a Leatherman Wave. These two tools, by the way, are really, they're, they're not competing in any way because the Leatherman Wave is just so much more capable. I mean, we've got so many more tools and honestly, the, the tool set on this is, they're just so much higher quality, they're just so much more practical than, than it is on this Gerber. Now, I'm not saying the tools on this Gerber are bad. I will go as far as to say they're definitely inferior to most multi tools. The thing that really shines about this one is the pliers and only the pliers. All the other tools are just not so good. So there it is against the wave. I do not have the plus model yet. Maybe I will eventually. 
maybe I won't. I'm definitely in the market for the Leatherman Charge. I'm thinking titanium. We'll have to wait and see. So I'll probably get the Charge plus TTI uh, if I do. Now, a motor tool that you could possibly compare it to would be uh, the original. The one that started it all. The Leatherman PST. And these are the exact two tools that I bought at the same time actually, that's the exact PST, now I've got two PSTs, reason being that I've got two is I wanted one purely for collection because I mean I think everyone's got to have a, a little than PST if they collect multi tools, I wanted one just to keep nice and one that I could actually use and carry and not feel guilty about using in case I damage it, you know what I'm trying to say? Like I said I like to collect these things as well as using them, I'm, so, I'm more of a collector than a user. The tool, so, the tool set on these two are Honestly, very similar. They're basically the exact same tool set. Biggest difference being the Leatherman has it all, the Gerber does not. And the uh, lanyard ring on that Gerber is actually functional. Other than that, difference being Leatherman has the butterfly opening, Gerber has the sliding pliers. I actually don't really favour one over the other, although this Leatherman is a lot smaller, a lot more compact, which is something I really like. Uh, doesn't really get in the way in the pocket, whereas something like this is a lot bigger and more bulky. Definitely a great multi tool. Um, one that I'm really glad to own. I'm toying around with the idea of getting the modern one that does have the locks and the cutters, but the problem with that is I can't legally carry it, which for me is a big shining. What words I'm looking for here? Big reason why I gravitate so so heavily towards this Gerber. I think it's an excellent multi tool. One that is definitely going to permanently be in my collection. One that I absolutely love to use and carry. So, do you have a Leatherman? Sorry, a Gerber, Mister Pinchy. Is that actually the name? I believe so. Do you have a Gerber, Mister Pinchy? Do you know when it's from? Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you later.